Now, since when have I ever shied away from blatant self-promotion? Anyway, this is my community tab, and I'm going to go over a couple questions I've asked. You fluffy fuzzballs, you wonderful, gorgeous, awesome people, and um, we're going to see what you came up with. And the first one here, classic question, with a llama-themed spin, because, duh, would you rather fight one llama the size of an elephant or 100 llamas the size of a cat? And it seems you guys think you could take on 100 small llamas. Keep in mind, folks, that's a lot of llamas, okay? And, you know, they do buck. Their buck isn't as bucky as, like, a horse, you know. But, you know, a hundred tiny llamas could really hurt your shins. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind if you're going to be fighting that many of them. And, uh, you know, the last question there is kind of a joke. I've never tried the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, which apparently is like a famous thing. So, there's that. Next uh, thing here, if you have two pieces of pepperoni pizza and you squish them together with the gooey bits in the middle, have you made a cheese and pepperoni sandwich or is it still a pizza? Inquiring minds want to know, M mainly me. I'm, I, I'm really the only one that wants to know that. Um, no mortal can handle this question, which is fair. That's fair. A lot of people chose that. Maybe it's an excuse to eat two pieces at the same time. Maybe it is, but that's not an answer to the question. Um, it's totally a pizza, and it's definitely a sandwich, which are the only real legit answers to the question, are um, <laughs> tied for third, fourth, and fifth place. So, okay, there's that. <laughs> Silly, fluffy fuzzballs. 2020 will be officially over tomorrow. And, of course, I did this just before 2020 ended. And uh, the question who won, yay, I'm older. Yay. Last yay was sarcastic. At 38%, um, which was the vast majority of answers. And then, of course, there was Winnie the Pooh rounding up the bottom with I am a bear of little brain. <sighs> I remember Winnie. He, he was good people. He wasn't that bright. But, you know, how many small puppies do you think you can carry at one time? And this question is hashtagged for science um and this this one came out a little strange because the first and the last timid puppy handler and my skills are beyond your understanding were the highest ranking the ones in the middle me 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 but most people are either really confident in their skills or they're just really not <laughs> And I found that interesting. Of course, more people got, went for the timid than the uh, uh, ultra-skilled. So, I don't know, there's that. Anyway, um, I should be getting more banknotes soon. So, I may have some that I've not made videos of yet. And, uh, of course, many of you said, this pleases me. And many of you said, in my country... Llamas use humans as pack animals, which I think is a completely valid answer to this uh, statement. So there's that. Of course, why is there a cat here at my computer? Came in 13%. Incidentally, I had to recently buy on the interwebs some of the uh, condensed air to blow all the gunk out of my computer. Because my computer, the inside, looked like a sawmill factory. And that's that's not ideal. <laughs> no, not ideal. Anyway, uh, I hope everyone has an incredibly nifty Christmas. I hope I get some llama-themed gifts. 
of far and away the highest rated answer for that one. The next one, which I think is is a valid point, uh, Christian should ha uh, Christmas should have more of a llama theme. Reindeer are a hardy pack of animals, sure, but they can't really compare to a llama's skill and dedication. When it comes to flight, that has more to do with Santa's magical ability than the animals he's enhancing, which I think is a valid point. Clearly, llamas are the better choice, 38%, and Eduardo the Red-Nosed Llama had a very shiny nose, also 38%. Uh, coming in second place, this year Santa's getting Jaritos y Tacos. Um, Jaritos is a, uh, a Mexican soda with lots of really nifty Caribbean type flavors of, uh, of uh, 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 fruits and things. And their, their sodas, I think, actually take, taste really, really good. So there's that. My favorite is the uh, tamarind, incidentally. Anyway, so how do you get people to engage with your content? Well, you fill them with nonsense and random acts of lamosity, which I think is a valid point. And that is the top answer, because, of course, my amazing, wonderful, fluffy fuzzballs kind of know what's going on at this point. Uh, this next one. I'm basically thanking some really awesome people for sending me stuff. And uh, their response, of course, was Don Knotts was a comedic genius, which, okay, yeah, that fits. That's totally legit. Uh, another couple people uh, sent me stuff in the mail. And uh, my, my subs promised to look them up and watch all of their videos. At least 36% of you did. So... I expect you guys to be watching all of the videos from the people that please the llama. Is cereal a kind of soup, which is, which is a, a question that has plagued man since the dawn of time itself? And yes, mm, not sure, but a hot dog is totally a sandwich. Uh, tied for first place. Um... Second place is, I don't know how to feel about this. That's, that's valid as well. But I'm thinking a cereal is, in fact, a kind of soup. I mean, there, there, are, there are cold soups. Soup doesn't have to be hot to be good. You know, um, so I don't know. That's just one of those things. Could you please pass the jelly? Sure, there you go. Is there a deeper meaning here that I missed? Hmm. Yes, it is referencing something. But um, I'll wait until somebody can figure it out and put it in the comments before I, you know, admit it. Can soup isn't what it used to be, which is uh, another one. Clutch down, then start. Nobody, nobody chose that. That's pretty good advice if you have a... Uh, a manual. Anyway, so what's your favorite type of video on this channel? The uh, favorite type of video from the uh, 19 votes, random nonsense, and your vast wisdom, which is true. My wisdom is vast, and it flows upon the masses like a cornucopia of goodness, to be true. Um, but it's the 37% that worries me, <laughs> because they said, you make videos? Huh. I had no idea. Well, huh. Maybe I ought to step up my game. Anyway, that's all I have for now, folks. I uh, just kind of wanted to review my community tab because I heard on the interwebs that that's a good thing to do from time to time. And heaven forbid I don't follow the crowd. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. And, uh, I am out. It, it would appear you have reached the end of this video. Well, I want to thank you fellas for watching things that way. And uh, if you could uh, go ahead and, you know, share and 
like and subscribe and all, all that youtuber nonsense that they say on the interwebs what what they they, they do there uh, that'd be that'd be nice uh, y'all y'all ha have a nice day <laughs>